Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video uh, will convert fractional binary octal and hexadecimal number to decimal numbers by using calculators. Now this feature is not available in the calculator but with some um, using some technique uh, we will be solving uh, this type of a questions. Now before we start, uh, just to recall, I am sure you know that the decimal number is called uh, with the base 10, binary with base 2, octal with base 8 and hexadecimal with base 16. Now in the formula that we will be deriving for binary, octal or base, I will be using this number n and for decimal I will be using number base 10. Okay, I want to thank um, uh, this website, Pi Square Academy. I have taken a lot of help from uh, this website, a good website. Okay, now the, let's first of all do the normal calculation using the calculator. So convert this binary number into decimal, this octal number into decimal, and this uh, hexadecimal number into decimal number. So let's uh, call the calculator and uh, the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you are in this mode 4, base n. So we select 4 and now we are ready to do the calculation. Now this is binary number, here it is expecting decimal number. So we will first look at these, uh, this is decimal, this is for hex. This button is for binary and this is for octal. So we press binary and now it is expecting a binary value. So 101101011011. You want to convert this into decimal number. So we'll put equal sign and then we'll select decimal from here. So the first one is decimal and the answer is 43. So this is 43 and we write a base 10 with that. This is base 2, this is base 10. Similarly for octal, we change this to octal. So we are in octal and the number is 36752. Three, six, so 36752 and we want to convert this into decimal as well. So equal sign and decimal. So it is 15850, 15850 decimal. And the third one is the hex number. So we go into the hex number. This is hex. And 3ABCF. So we input 3. And ABC we input from here. A, B, C, D, E, F. So A, B, C, and F. So we have inputted the hex number, now we also want this to be in decimal, so equal sign uh, and this is the decimal number, so 240591. So this is normal calculation that you do, but if you uh, want to put a decimal uh, for number, like if I want to put, um, let me see. Let me take a new number, let's say take the decimal number uh, 5.6, I want to put 5 decimal or point, it can't go. It becomes 5.6 but it can't take point. So we have to do uh, some trick as suggested by this website from following that. Okay. So first of all, we'll convert uh, any base, that means binary, octal, and hexadecimal into decimal number or base 10 number. I have made a formula. I don't know whether you, it is, you will be feeling comfortable with this or not, but just uh, to memorize or to give you an idea, let me take an example and then we'll follow this. So this is the number. So you can see I have, I have written this as XXX. And for binary, we are writing N. For, so as I told you, that for binary, octal, or hex, I'll write N. And then equal to the same number here. 
and multiplied by n power numbers of digit to be shifted. Now what I, we want is that we want to shift this decimal to the right hand side. So let's see for what we'll do here. We have copied this number. We have to shift it three places, so 2 raised to the power 3. 2 raised to the power 3 and n power to be shifted. And just for uh, memorizing or just for convenience, I am writing here that this is for shifting. And since we are adding 2 raised to the power 3 from our side, we'll divide by 2 raised to the power 3 also. And now if we shift, if we shift, then our number will be this whole without decimal. So this is without decimal and 2 raised to the power 3 remains there. Okay, up to this point this is binary, now we need to convert into decimal. So we uh, had already done, so let's calculate this and we go to the binary mode. Okay, binary 101, we had already done this in the previous slide, 101011 one, one, equal decimal, so 43, so we'll write 43 here, 43 divided by 2 raised to the power 3. Now this is actual dv and you have to do, so 43 divided by 2 raised to the power 3. And if we uh, use the calculator, it will not divide in this mode. We have to change the mode. So we go to mode. And 1 is for composite, so we press 1. And now we can divide 43 divided by 2 power 3 equal 43 over 8, or if I press the SD button, it will give 5.375. So that is the answer, 5.375. 5.375 base 10. So this is how uh, we'll follow for all the three. And uh, you can just keep this in mind that uh, from here, we have changed into the decimal number, and then we're dividing to get this type of an answer. Now let's go for the octal. Same technique, we'll, we have to now move two places. So instead of writing this, uh, we just move it to, we, we come to this stage here, that by multiplying 8 power 2, we are moving two decimal points. So we move this and then we're dividing 8 by 8 square, because that is the base in this case. And we'll shift, uh, sorry, we'll convert now this octal into decimal. So again, we go to the calculator. And this was in uh, normal mode or composite mode. We have to change into base 4 mode, so 4. And octal, octal, 3675236. 2 and we convert equal sign decimal so 15850 so we'll write here 15850 divided by 8 square and now this is base 10 and now again we, we have to go to the calculator in composite mode so mode 1 and we can divide it 1 Five eight five zero divided by eight square equals sign S D two four seven point six five six two five. So two four seven point six five six and there is uh, uh, no need of going infinity. These are the uh, approximate answers so we just taken three digits approximation okay and the last one was uh, our hex to a decimal so same technique here also we have to move two digits so already moved two digits divided by six 
power 2 and this we can convert again by the following the same technique uh, uh, convert this into the decimal divided by 6 square and you will get this answer so I hope uh, till now you have been able to follow now this was from any base 2 decimal now we'll go the other way decimal number to any base now this was the previous formula and the uh, formula in this case will be slightly changed from the now the base 10 will go to the any base and the only change is uh, this value number one it, it, you you can we can take n power 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 that is one change it, a power could be 2 to 6 the other change is the bottom f uh, here in this case the bottom number was dividing now in this case the bottom number will be shifting and upper number will be dividing so it's kind of a cross multiplication if you keep in mind that what was the dividing here will multiply here in the other case and whatever was shifting at the top that will come down uh, for shifting so this is the only point that you have to keep in mind when you converting from decimal to any base and what i have done for uh, okay to memorize i don't know this is easy or not so d for decimal and d for downshift so down shift uh, shifting is at the bottom another point as i mentioned that we could take any power of two uh, uh, any power of two but power of six gives the decimal uh, point accuracy up to six digits so this one you can take two you can take three four five six but for maximum accuracy you have to take six okay and now one more thing what i have done from the previous slide we solving these we got the this answer in the decimal form so we'll just use these values now in decimal to convert back and see if our answer is correct or not so let's take the first one decimal to binary so 5.375 so we will not shift we'll just write it as it is and multiply by as i mentioned 2 to the power from 2 to 6 so for maximum accuracy i'm taking 6 and then divide by 2 to raise to the power 6 and now this we have to multiply no shifting in other case it was shifting here we have to multiply so let's go to the calculator and we are already in composite mode so uh, five point five point three seven five multiplied by two power six equal three four four so the top will be three four four so three four four base ten divided by two power six now this is in decimal we have to go to binary so go to calculator mode change mode four decimal to binary three double four three double four equal binary so you can see there are many zeros we ignore all the zeros before but we'll take this one zero one zero one zero one one zero 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 okay so we get, get this number and now according to this we have to shift left by six digits so three and three so our decimal will be here so here is the decimal now after decimal there is no point of keeping so many zeros so we can ignore the, these zeros and so our final answer will be like this and this is the same as uh, here answer and similarly now we can do with this and this i'll quickly go over decimal to octal 247.65610 same technique no shifting at the top 
by now I am taking instead of 6 I am taking 8.3 just to have a feeling how uh, is this different from the other so 8.3 8.3 now when you multiply we are getting a decimal points but we can ignore because we are already multiplying with a large number so this is meaningless so we just cross it we will take now the or we will convert this portion of the binary into octal so we have already done in the previous slide so I will not repeat this and then we divide this by 8 power 3 and so you will get this answer which is same answer here it's slightly uh, it was 52 this is 5.17 so approximately same so the answers are not exact uh, to the dot but these are uh, approximate answers okay and then in case of a uh, hex same technique here now we are taking power 2 instead of uh, for 6 same technique multiplying this is after the decimal we cancel it uh, we convert this into hex then divided by 16 square so this is our answer which is same now what is the advantage of this is that maybe um, uh, if you have a multiple choice questions and you need to find the answer quickly you can do this or even if you following the normal procedure of solving and then you want to be sure whether your answer is correct or not we can quickly use your Casio calculator uh, or any other scientific calculator to find this answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.